Today I have an Espresso Maker Mano 1, which is great because it is silent. And this is what I like about these type of brewers, because you get an excellent espresso, manual espresso, which gives you a lot of control, so you don't need to have extremely precise pump, powerful pump in order to press down the coffee. And so it is different experience and it is competitor to liver espresso makers and how it's different from liver ones. You need to rotate it to create the pressure and it is great because the force that you need to apply here in order to have nine bars of pressure is around two kilos. So you can rotate it with three fingers while liver espresso usually is like uh, Lapavonia or Piccolo, it's like 15 kilos of pressure or force that you need to apply to the liver and if you have high table you need to like stay like this press and it's not super comfortable here it's way more comfortable and especially in the morning it's like super easy but before we start talking about how to brew the press with it and what's how it's differs from other brewers let's talk about the model this one is e coffee last something some some model so random model and originally it was created in brazil it's called a ram coffee maker as a ram espresso maker so Hoffman already did a video on RAM, I watched it and I forgot the video completely, so you can watch Hoffman's video, but today I'm going to talk about this one and I want you to support the original creator of this brewer, which is RAM, so it's better to get the brewer here, I just don't have a RAM brewer in Ukraine, this is what I get, but it's very similar, the only difference is maybe the amount of accessories you have here, so you have their for capsules, Nespresso or something like this, adapter, which is screws instead of this. Also we have basket 53 millimeters with 18 gram dose and it is impossible to use less because uh, it's shaped like a cone and the temper will fit like one centimeter and then it will not fit. So you cannot use lower dose with this basket but you can change it because it's easy it's a regular 53 millimeter basket you can use one cup three cups and this is for two cups what it gives us it gives us great starting point and as well we have here pressurized basket so another attachment and of course cup and temper and dosing green and i love this detail because here we have dosing ring and temper fits through the dozen ring and because this is 53 millimeters not 15 58 which is commercial size it is harder to fit here 18 grams and press it or you need to do it twice feel it compress feel compress or you need to press through this dozen ring because it's easier you just compress prepare it and then you do another important thing you change the temper for a proper one because this one 53.5 mm fits better you don't it's more comfortable you just press on it the coffee pack will be leveled you don't need to think about the quality of your coffee pack preparation and of course it's better to use when you do it in the coffee use the ring and you use WDT which is needles so coffee pack preparation is relatively easy here and relatively fast because it's like easy to handle and it's not hot and unlike RAM here is rubber band so it's easier to screw on and unscrew and here we have stand here we have brewer which fits with the gasket so it fits like without the need of tightening this now because it's aluminium it will wear out with time so it's better not to use it and we have just a brewer we can use it like this on in nature like brew some water uh, pour some water, unscrew, screw on, and you will have espresso here, so it's possible to brew in a cup outdoors even. even. So it's great here, of course you don't need hard table, hard surface, because liver espresso requires tough table in order to withstand the pressure. About the construction, first of all, a RAM has the model, or you can buy additional accessory which is pressure gouge it has like some pressing out rings which shows you how many bars of pressure you have because in this brewer 
it's okay to brew without pressure gauge because it's relatively understandable how to fill your cup of espresso. But it's better to have. If you're starting out, it's no-brainer, it's better to have pressure gauge. That's why I recommend you a rum espresso instead of these, but you can get these as well. This one has pretty sharp handle, and that's why I just added some piece of leather to protect, protect my fingers, because when you screw in it fast, uh, unscrewing, it's like could damage your nails, etc. And because uh, this handle is small, you can rotate it with three fingers and it will be okay. So you will not create excessive pressure, because three bars or nine bars is uh, two kilos of force and with three fingers it's easy to do. And of course, how the brewing process looks like. First of all, you need to preheat it. I'm taking it off the stand. So I'm taking it off, pouring the water once, pouring the water twice, and placing on the stand, screwing with the coffee, and third portion of water is going to brew your coffee. But you can preheat it even more if you want to have higher brewing temperature, because after like a third portion of water will be like 85 degrees Celsius or 88, depends on the environment. At home, I was comfortable with just two preheatings. And if you're going to brew another cup, you don't need to preheat it because it's already preheated. And the coffee turns out great, like from machine. And here you can control the temperature. You can use just some like measuring device, place it inside and see how how hot is the water. So you have more control than in basic machines. Because it's better to have PID for proper water temperature, because water temperature in machines could play like 4 degrees or even higher. So the temperature will be different. Here it is more stable. So the only parameter you will need to change is the grind size in order to have proper cup. And of course you can play a lot with it. like have smaller grind size and have more pre-infusion. Like, you can achieve different cup profiles, but it's somewhat limited in terms of body, because uh, initial contact with water will be without pressure, pre-infusion. And you soak the coffee and you will not possibly achieve the same pressure as with other brews, like liver. You can just press, compress the coffee, and then slowly pre-infuse. Here is, it will be harder because you need to do a lot of rotations. There is 42 rotations and because of this and because of huge base you can use either the scale here or you can use just amount of rotations or you can use just see how much thread is left to screw. So you can control your shot uh, even without scales it will be okay and it will be comfortable even holding in the hand, in nature, not a problem. And of course, this all comes with the case, so you can travel with it. So let's recap. You preheat it twice. I prefer like first pour one minute, pour it out. It's easy, you just pour it out. You don't need to unscrew it and screw it. It's unnecessary. So the easier to keep it out of the base, and just place it after two preheatings. Then you attach your coffee basket and here's the important part. You screw, screwing out as fast as you can, at least uh, what's comfortable for you. So like this speed is okay. 42 rotations, you can count 40 in order to not have this stop, hard stop, because there is no like rubber or something which will cushion the unscrewing. So it's like stop and it will shake a little bit the brewer. You can prevent it just counting to 40 or just see that the water is down the piston. And then you starting to create the pressure and how you do it, you just screw it fast and then you feel that at some point like when it compressed two centimeters or more, screw it on, you'll feel the resistance and you need to maintain it. And when resistance drops, you screw it faster in order to keep the pressure. That way you will have a great cup of coffee 
and it will be more or less stable. We've tried today. What's more important about this brewer that every cup will be tasty. And if you don't have a pressure, you just know that you need to make the grind size smaller or, or use a little bit higher dose, like 18.5.19 grams. So the most important part here with these type of brewers is create resistance for water and to feel it when you screw it. And if you feel that uh, the resistance is here and the water flow is too slow, like drops of water of coffee instead of flow, slow flow, you know that you need to increase the grind size a little bit. So it's pretty normal for newbies even to operate this. And let's talk about this part. You can feel that this part will be scorching hot, almost scorching hot, like very hot. And this one, after four preheatings, it will be hot as well, but comfortably hot, like 55 degrees, 50 maybe. So it will be still comfortable to handle, like Flare Express uh, lower part will, or upper part. They have silicon here and it's, it heats up like crazy, it's hard to take it. <laughs> here you will like normally hold, hold it in your hand or you can alternatively screw it and probably rotate by holding the base. The great thing that you can place mirror here and watch your naked porta filter because it's great that you have the ability to see what's inside the basket, uh, how the flow goes. And of course, uh, if you feel that coffee is too soft, you probably need to preheat it more next time in order to have higher brewing temperature. And that's probably it. Uh, that's what you need to know about this type of brewer, that it's easier than liver and it allows you to play with coffee a lot. And you will have a lot of experience, knowledge by just using it. And what about my experience with it? I've tried to brew three cups in a row and it was easy. I did not feel any fatigue after brewing three cups, which is with flare Express, uh, sometimes you feel it. And it's with manual grinder. With electric grinders, like no fatigue at all, like after five cups or, or even more. So it is comfortable for home use if you enjoy silent brewings, which is great. This is great machine to have. And of course it's relatively compact and easy to clean and easy to keep clean. So the concept is great, execution is great and it's really worth trying. Thank you for watching, see ya.